So right, what we'll do now is we'll uh, turn the uh, gimbal off and connect the Bluetooth shutter button. So we'll turn that off now. We'll hold the button for three seconds and it'll turn it off and it'll go floppy. So right, we'll come out of the camera and we'll go into settings. We'll turn Bluetooth on. And we'll turn the gimbal back on. But when we turn the gimbal up, back on, we'll push the joystick all the way up and press the function button. So that'll turn the gimbal on and then straight away you'll get a fire tech. If you hit that, it'll pair, you just pair with it. So right now it's connected. So if we go back to the camera itself, and now we're connected to the Bluetooth shutter button. So if I press that now, it'll take a picture. And uh, if we go into video mode, and we'll press the shutter button now, it'll start recording. If we press it again, it'll stop recording. So that's how you basically connect up to the uh, Bluetooth shutter button. So right, I'll show you how to connect and use the uh, Feutech on app. So right, what we'll do first is we'll come out of this and uh, we'll go back into settings. We'll turn the, what we'll do, we'll go to the Feutech and we'll go to the information and we'll forget this device. Once we've done that, we'll uh, turn the Bluetooth off and we'll turn the gimbal off. So you hold it for three seconds and let it turn off. So right, that's off now. So what we need to do is the same thing again to put it back into pairing mode. So we'll push the joystick up and we'll turn the function button on and turn it on. So right, straight away we'll turn the Bluetooth back on and we'll come out of that and go to the Feu on app. Now we're in this app, I'll just quickly show you. So right, if you flick to the sides, you get all the different gimbals you can connect to. So what we'll do is we'll go to the SPG because that's what we've got and we'll go to connect. Now it's searching for devices and it's found it straight away. So if we touch that now. It'll connect to the app itself. I'll just turn that light off. So right, there you go. So this is the uh, Feu on app and it's got the settings as well. So right, once you've connected to this, it's connected the uh, Bluetooth shutter button to it as well now. So like now it's in video mode, if you can see that on the side. If I press the shutter button once, it'll take a picture. If I hold it for two seconds or three seconds, it'll start recording. So it's recording video now. If I hold it for three seconds again, it'll stop recording. So basically that works in all the modes. Uh, at the top here, we've got a camera sign. If you hit that, it'll take pictures. Over here, if you hit that, it'll give you all your album, basically, what pictures you've taken so far. If you hit that, it'll go back to the camera again. On here, you've got your flash or your light. Uh, above that, you've got settings. If we go to that, you've got your camera settings. If you hit video settings, you've got resolution. You've got frame rate settings you can change. If you hit this, you've got your camera settings. You can turn the grid on. You can turn the electric image stabilization on and set the watermark as well. If you go to this side, you've got the gimbal. If you hit that, you've got the motor strength, follow mode settings and rocker settings. So if you hit the uh, motor settings, 
you can set the how much power to use on them so you can turn them up and down basically if I wanted to turn them up I could turn a certain one up more than the other but I'm not too sure how to use these so I don't really mess with them so right I'll go back and then you've got the uh, follow mode as well so on here you've got three settings you've got the pan and axe setting you've got the uh, tilt access setting and the rolling access setting so what you can do is you can set, set the uh, follow dead zone up to so many degrees and you can turn up the speed for the follow speed for each thing so that goes up to 100 and up to 50 and if you want to save your settings afterwards you just got to save itself so right I'm going to come out of that and uh, go back to to, the, to this so right now above that we've got the uh, smart smart tracking mode so if you hit that it'll go blue now it's on tracking mode itself so right if you press this button here it'll turn to selfie mode now it's on tracking mode if you watch it now it'll track me track me to the left I should turn the speed up really and if I go to the right it will track me to the right as well so right so take it off there so right above there we've got um, another setting mode if we press that so here we've got exposure we can turn up and down you've got white balance and you've got ISO you can turn up and down right at the top you've got the uh, enter rocker so if we hit that blue mechanism so basically this is just a, a remote control for the gimbal so you don't need to use the joystick or anything this is the joystick here so what you'd use this is basically if you if you had another phone in your gimbal and uh, you wanted to remotely control the gimbal away from it you'd use this so basically um, if I can just put this down here this sign over here just means that basically it's in panning mode only so if I try to I can pan to the left I can pan to the right but it won't tilt um, so this is the joystick it'll just go wherever I tell it to if I press this it's got a panning and tilting mode and it's got a lot more there as well basically like I showed you before so right we'll come out of that and yep yeah, that's about it really that's everything I can show you on there uh, if you press this one over here on the top that'll just take you back out of it we'll just go back into that again we'll connect back up to the uh, camera so on this side we've got night mode and what that does is uh, it'll turn the brightness really high and the exposure up so same thing again if you press the shutter button it'll uh, take a picture if you hold it for three seconds it'll start recording if I press it again it'll stop recording and uh, after that you've got the uh, photo mode same thing again press the button it'll take take a picture if you hold it for a few seconds it shouldn't record and it doesn't right after that you've got a video so if you press the shutter button it'll do the same thing it'll just take a picture if you hold it for uh, three seconds it'll start recording three seconds again it'll stop recording and then after that you've got a uh, panoramic mode so what you need to do here is uh, basically you have to press the shutter button to take a picture and then you have to turn the gimbal manually by hand slowly and when it reaches a certain spot it'll take a picture just 
take a picture. You keep on tilting. I think that's it. So right, that's failed. I'll have to do that proper. If I do a demo and I'll get you some footage, I will do that outside. After that, you've got a time-lapse mode, if you can see that. So that's really good now. It does time-lapse as well. Before it didn't, so that's good as well. So right, um, that's about it guys. Uh, I don't know what else I can show you. Mm, I'll see if I can do another video with the uh, Feiyutak Evo pads. So they're made, made basically so you can fit them onto your gimbal and use any GoPro camera with it. So I will get them in and I'll uh, do a separate video on that. I didn't want to do it now because it's, it's going to end up being too much of a long video. But um, yeah, I will try to get hold of the uh, PGY Tech GoPro adapter holders as well. And see if I can do a review on that and see if that's any good as well. So right guys, um, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. Bye.